in front of 10,000 spectators. The rail is a fall. Horrific scenes at Perth's highest profile horse race. Cockney crew trying to slow them down. They're all easing back now. The race was abandoned and the crowd watched on as officials tended to the injured animal. But the mayor, Chile is hot, couldn't be saved. I think people accept that this is an extraordinarily rare occurrence in horse racing. It's something that we're working very, very hard to, to mitigate. The fall has prompted renewed scrutiny of the racing industry after several deaths during high-profile race days across Australia in recent years. Horses dying is very much part of business as normal. They're calling for an end to racing, or at the very least, tougher rules to ensure horse welfare. I just don't think that there's a right way to do the wrong thing. Um, studies by the University of Melbourne have shown that 90% of horses have blood in their lungs post-racing. An inquiry by racing officials has found jockey Joseph as a party rode carelessly into the path of the horse that fell. The incident was tragic enough to turn away even attendees at the Perth Cup from racing. But according to the stewards inquiry, a six week suspension is enough of a punishment for the careless riding that led to this tragedy. A suspension of six weeks to a professional jockey is uh, a, a very large penalty. It effectively deprives him of his livelihood for that period of that suspension. The Perth Cup has been rescheduled to January 14. Case and Ho, ABC News, Perth.